And they have some fabulous pool creations. Anyone want to take a dip? I won't tell if you don't. Love me tender, love me true, all my dream fulfill. Hi, it's Cynthia, but my friends call me Cindy, and we're here at the home show. Now, I'm really excited as part of our home automation show. We are here taking it all in. There's so many tech toys and things to see, but right now we're at Canada Blooms. Hi, we're here at the Samsung booth at the home show, and I'm here with Sook, who is here at the Samsung booth. Now, Sook, tell me, how has the show been for you today? Oh, it's been excellent. Uh, a lot of traffic coming in, a lot of interest in the, this fridge as we're standing behind, and uh, the new uh, te technology from uh, Samsung in the TVs as well. So it's been, it's been great. It's been Amazing. Okay, so you started off with this fridge. What can you tell me about this fridge okay, in particular? So this fridge, uh, it comes with a screen, as you can see. It's almost like having a computer at home. And what you can do on it, it allows you, can, you can see what's inside. But I'll show you an example. Like you can see what's inside your fridge. Say if you forget what, if you're out shopping, and then you say, oh, do I have milk at home or do I have any cheese at home? You can just check on your app by your phone while you're out. Looks see like you need to do some grocery shopping. Well, yeah. Well, you can <laughs> see it's very empty. <laughs> uh, you can you can also you can also create your own shopping list as you go along. You know, when you, uh, you know, like here we have an example, eggs, milk, butter, and you can carry on adding things if you forget. And this also can be put onto your phone. Okay, I was going to ask. So if you're not at home and you're not able to look at yeah. your fridge, you could actually look at your phone and yeah, it will do yeah. the same thing? Yeah, you can do the same thing. You can also, if you want to check the internet, you can do that as well. You got any pictures of families you want to put on there, you, you can also do that as well. Nice little slide, slideshow. You've got the option of connecting to your favorite grocery store apps. See, so you can actually place a shopping order that way. Yeah, you can do. You can you can do the option as well. A lot more apps are available from the Play Store as well. If you've got kids, you want to keep them quiet for a while. You know, do some little bit of a drawing if you like. Well, there you go, and you don't have to worry about them mucking up the fridge. Yeah. And if the picture sucks, you can always delete it. Yeah, it's all, that's very easy. Well, don't quit your day job and go into artistry. Oh. I don't think that's your calling, yeah, Suck. That's, that's <laughs> <not gonna> help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, Suck, tell me now about these TVs. Okay. So, we have some new TVs from Samsung 2017 models. The one on the left is last year's model, and the new one we have is the Quantum Dot technology uh, from Samsung. They call these the QLEDs. Same as last year, but they've gone a bit better, creating a brand new panel, giving you 50% brighter than what we had last year from Samsung and also the cosmetics are completely changed okay and, and what you can see the blacks are a lot lot more blacker the one on the right compared to the older one from last year and also another great feature here is that comes with a little box called the one connect box okay so this saves the trouble of going to the back of the TV putting any HDMI connections in all you get is one straight cable going into the back of the TV and and you can have this coming straight down to the bottom without any worries of putting any you know plugs into the back everything will go into here this box can go on the side or at the bottom on your on your little table is this also able to work in conjunction with your smartphone yes so the, with the tv you can con send information from your phone to the tv pictures videos you got any music you can do the same thing as well with that uh, with this with new tvs it's a lot, lot, lot brighter than before. So Google Home and Amazon Alexa, are they able to work in conjunction with either the fridge or this? Possibly. I'm not 100% sure. I, I haven't these, these just come on the market, these. So you probably could do. But so we'll just wait and see, them, and see if we can do that. Yeah. All right. So what else can you show me, Suck? Show you. Uh, yes. Well, uh, okay, we've got the world bar. is your oyster <laughs> here. So we have a soundbar from Samsung. Samsung's yeah. top of the line. 5.1.4 channels he also has rear speakers so you've got three speakers at the front you have two at the back on on the soundbar and two at the back as well on top so that you get that sound as if you're actually in the scene uh, a part of the movie or part of the picture that you're going through and this is about 550 watts which is pretty good for a soundbar of that quality uh, and you get a, a whole package comes as a whole set 
five channels so you don't have to go and buy an additional speakers like you do with some uh, sound bars. So one is all you need. A little goes a long way. It sounds like we got surround sound. It literally sounds good. So look, I want to thank you for your time. Well, thank you very much. All right, it's Cynthia here with the Home Automation Channel. Now we're in the shopping pavilion of the home show and we're here with big boys with cool toys. And right here is Alex. Now, Alex, can you take me through? You, I notice you have some drones here. Yep. So what can you tell me about this drone in particular? Well, this one's pretty cool. I mean, a lot of people use it anywhere from the construction applications, building around the houses, landscaping to uh, increase their sales and business, bring them to that 21st century kind of, uh, you know, automation of flying over a whole landscaped area. We also have infrared technology on it, so a lot of people use it in the workplace for heating, HVAC. Um, that's a controller right there in front of it. You can see the picture 1.6 kilometers away. It has features like follow me features, so the remote beside it you can attach to you and you can actually do a walk around the house. You can uh, go around, you can ATV, snowmobile, bring it to the cottage, have it travel and follow you through the forest automatically. Um, you can see the picture and take picture in 4K recording. Um, it has six blades, so even if one goes down, it can still come back to home. Locks into 16 satellites, so even if you're not really good at flying and really new to the hobby, you can actually just let go of the sticks, press return home, and it'll come back and land. We also have other uh, stuff at our 10,000 square foot hobby store. Yeah, like Saga. what about this one here? Yeah, that one over there, it has the same features. This one has actually, um, compared to that one, that one has a 4K camera as well. It also has uh, the return to home feature, um, except it doesn't have the navigation feature where it's automated and stuff. So that's a little bit different. Lower price point, you're at $1,000 there, opposed to about a $2,000 price point here. And then we have other drones like the one that Matt's using, little baby drones like this that are $100 right here, that are great to improve your hand-eye coordination fly it around the office or inside the living room at the house. Does it do any flips? Oh yeah, ready? There we go. Oh. Upside down flip right there. So we have stuff like that at our hobby store too. We have over 30, 40 different drones at our hobby store. Cars, trucks, planes. And they range in price from? Anywhere from $50 to a couple thousand to we have F-16 fighter jets that are 15 foot long with turbine engines hanging from our rafters in our store that are $20,000 too. That's amazing. Okay, so quite a range here. Now you mentioned you were in Mississauga? Yeah, 427 in Dundas, just around where Cloverdale and Sherway Gardens is. We're also online with uh, over 80,000 products online and we have a store in Sudbury and maybe next summer even in Barrie. Okay, so there is talk of expansion. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the uh, Northern Store, we opened that up last summer in Sudbury, which services all of Northern Ontario. And uh, we're going to move uh, a little lower and a little above Toronto and a Barrie next summer. Amazing. So big boys with cool toys. Now, is there... Um, okay, so when they go online, they're able to order from it. It ships everywhere? It, worldwide. We uh, Just like this morning, I shipped out some slot cars to Germany. Um, um, a racetrack uh, set out to Alberta this morning from the store. So we're worldwide. Okay. And so these drones work in conjunction with your smartphone as well? Oh, definitely with their yeah. smartphone. And uh, also they have all the technology that it can hook up to your computer very easily. I have uh, somebody flying this at most events. Uh, I give it to a four-year-old to fly it all the way up to I have customers that are 70, 80 years old that don't have any technology-based experience. And I spend a half an hour with them and they're already going out on the Bruce Peninsula and walking around and having it follow them around. So you do not have to have any knowledge or flight experience to play with any of our stuff. Amazing. And a warranty was something like this? Warranty. Most of our products have manufacturer warranty. We do service and sell parts for everything we have. So about one year on all the electronics on this device or most of our things. But we sell parts and that's what's key is to have somewhere where you can buy parts and you're not just disposing and throwing away um, toys that you buy. Absolutely. More eco-friendly this way. Exactly. All right. Big boys with cool toys. This is Alex. I'm Cynthia. Thank you for watching. We're at Canada Blooms. All right, now we're going to walk you through the fabulous floral creations here at Canada Blooms. A quick walk through. Come on, join me. And they have some fabulous pool creations. Anyone want to take a dip? I won't tell if you don't. Okay, we're here with our boy Roy. Now, Roy, I understand you've been here. I'm going to step up to your well level. Right there we go. Here. I look up to you, but now we're a little more level. Okay, so amazing. So we're here with the Home Automation Channel. I'm Cynthia. It's a delight to have you, Roy. Thank you. Now, you've been here at the show for a while. Yeah, this is, I think, our seventh year with a Pick Ontario booth. So Amazing. Now, what can you tell me about Pick Ontario? Well, Pick Ontario is government funded to promote locally grown flowers. So uh, what we do every year here at the Canada Blooms Festival and the big home show in Toronto is we
we try and feature locally grown flowers that uh, you can buy on the shelves at your various places where you buy flowers and plants and stuff. Uh, but everything that we have on our booth is from a greenhouse that's within sort of the GTA or within about a one or one and a half hour radius. And it just makes sense that stuff that's grown locally, by the time you buy it at the store, it's usually fresher than if you, you know, get something that flew in from Puerto Rico or China or South America. It's uh, usually the fresher stuff. So Absolutely. And we got some beautiful aromas coming from there, which is fantabulous. And you've got a lovely display here. Yeah, well, I think at this time of year, just anything living after uh, <laughs> winter is done, especially we got the, you know, the snow storm out there over the last couple days so uh, anything living seems to, to, to be welcome at this time of year I guess and we have a wide range like we have stuff for outside in the gardens that you can put in that comes back every year and then we have stuff like orchids and different indoor plants and ferns and stuff too so amazing well that is lovely so a huge array something for everyone now what would you say are some of the best sellers or people are asking more about well these ones here the gila bores are really very popular because they uh, over in europe they call them a christmas rose because they actually come up real early in the uh, the season you know uh, i live down in saint Catharines, and uh, mine actually popped out through the snowbank about two weeks ago uh, now that it's snowed they kind of flatten out a little bit but as <laughs> soon as it warms up and the temperature goes above zero they come right back and they're a perennial so you plant them once and they come back every single year so they're popular and they come in a few different colors and sizes and then this big pink one you see over your shoulder here uh, it's native of the Philippines and it's more like an indoor flower and they last a long time the big blooms on that last anywhere from four to seven months on average in a house so you know people like the big flowers that last a long time and the best thing they're not that hard to care for so oh, nice. people with a brown thumb can grow those too oh, amazing well, there's yeah. hope for all of us guys <laughs> Well, sometimes I feel like I've got the flower disease. I'm a blooming idiot, but you certainly make it, you know, easy to understand for everyone, which I'm really appreciative of. Now, something that might be obvious to the average Joe watching right now is you don't look like the typical flower expert. So do you have a side job you might want to tell us about? Yeah, well, that's what I do for a living. <laughs> I, I do all of us in one show called Blue Suede Shoes. So I travel around the world doing that. And then I host uh, up in northern Ontario. We got a big festival called the Collingwood Elvis Festival. So I've been the MC of that for about 18 years now and then uh, when I'm not doing Elvis I play Johnny Cash in another show and I, I got to play uh, a guy by the name of Conway Twitty in a show this year in Texas too an old country singer so That's yeah so incredible. so do you have a special little number you can put together for us well I know them all I know I do you have a favorite you're too young to remember Elvis <laughs> well maybe you can refresh Which my one? memory love me tender love me sweet never let me go you have made my life complete, and I love you so. Love me tender, love me true, all my dream fulfill. For my darling, I love you, and I always will. There you go, that's a good one. <laughs> that was beautiful. Wow. Well, there you go. I know you got her heart racing. My goodness. Is it a uh, temperature change in here? Uh, All right. Well, if they want to check you out, how can people find you? Just RoyLeBlanc.com or www.MusicsGreatestIcons.com. Amazing. Well, you heard it here for us. Thank you so much, Roy. Thank it's you. been a delight. All right. You can turn this to Oh, it's your birthday. Oh, this is all the better. Okay, <laughs> so let's get you started. I'm Cynthia. Okay. All right, hi, I'm Cynthia here with the Home Automation Channel. Now I have the lovely Tanisa. Tanisa and Bernhardt. Bernhardt. And they just Madeline. and Madeline, who is too shy to come on our YouTube channel today, but we're just gonna virtually wave at her. <laughs> now I understand it's your birthday. Yeah. Now what a wonderful way to spend your birthday. Did you enjoy the show today? I loved it. We come every year. Amazing, and I see you got a and beautiful I bouquet. That. I won it. Oh, you won it? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's a show that keeps on giving. Now, what would you say would be the highlight of your experience today? It's hard to say. They had a display on by the uh, Garden Club of Toronto, the different exhibitions. That was marvelous. Oh, amazing. Yeah, it was marvelous. It and yourself. So oh, wonderful. Very well done. Now, wh what about you? Do you share that sentiment or did you have another favorite? Well, we, we listened to a few speeches. We, we looked at the different uh, displays from the landscape department. And uh, 
Yeah, we had a good time. Amazing. I feel the urge to splurge. Are we going to be doing some shopping later? <laughs> no, we're going home now. <laughs> All right. Well, happy birthday to you from us at the Home Automation Channel. And thank you so much. It was so lovely to speak with you. Enjoy your beautiful bouquet. All right, so that concludes our fabulous, fun-filled time here at the National Home Show. Now, it has been an absolute delight. I've enjoyed myself. I sure hope you viewers enjoyed yourself as well. As always, feel free to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be informed of the latest and the greatest in home renovation projects and smart home automation, as well as tech gadgets for you and your loved ones. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Cindy, and it's been a slice.